so the first thing that you have to understand about the AS curve is that this AS curve, but that is upward sloping. Why upward sloping? Because I just told you that there is a positive relationship between output and price. So because of the positive relationship between output and price, if I were to go ahead and I were to plot this relationship between P and Y, this relationship will come as an upward sloping relationship. That's the first. Right, Peter? Second, most important point. But there, so just try to think about the economy. Huh? You remember that we assumed in the last, uh, last chapter that price is equal to expected price. But I explained you that when price is equal to the expected price, in that case, people are forming the correct expectations. People know exactly what the price is going to be. So when price is equal to expected price, you were at full employment level, right? But unemployment was at natural level. Yadaya, there was only structural and frictional unemployment. Everybody else was employed in the, in the business, in the economy. So if everybody is employed, output is maximum. Maximum money okay, Y is equal to full employment level or natural level. Why is the maximum? Jitna bhi maximum economy produce kar sakti hai. The maximum an economy can produce output is at that level. Okay, beta. So try to understand this thing. <clears throat> but I am saying that if actual economy may people may not have P equal to P. Price expectation ho sakti hai that I may expect price to be 10. But price can be 4 also, price can be 13 also. And price can be 10 also. So you may form some expectation, but the actual price, but it can be anything, 4, 10, 13, anything. You know? But it can be 10 also, right? It can be equal to expectation also. So what I am saying here is that on this AS curve, there will be a point. At this point, beta, price will be equal to the expected price. Matlab, Actual price is 10 and people also expected it at 10. If that is the case, then output will be equal to natural level of output. That means full employment level. That means nobody is unemployed. Maximum production over here. Right, beta? Who is unemployed? Ma'am, only structural and frictional. Okay, beta? But this may not be true also. But it is possible that my price, actual price, it is less than the expected price. Suppose I expected the price to be 10. So actual price can be 5 also. It can be 4 also. And actual price can be 12 also. It can be 15 also. So but actual price can be greater than the expectation. Actual price can be less than expected price and actual price can be equal to expected price. But when P is equal to PE, when P is equal to PE, because we have studied that U will be equal to UN, you are at natural level of unemployment. There is no unemployment except frictional and structural. You are at full employment Level. You are at full employment level. Clear way about better? Achha. Now study this region. In this region, better, what do I see? P is less than P. Actual price, my expectation to ye hai, a point. Actual price is less than my expected price. But if this is where output is full employment. Everybody is employed. Maximum output produced over So in this zone, my output is less than YN. And in this zone, beta, my output is greater than YN. Where is this zone? Here. You know? Where is this zone? Actually, I should be marking the right one. I will just mark this here. 
एस कर्व के अपवर्ड पॉइंट सो इन इन दीज पॉइंट ऑफ एस टी इज ग्रेटर देन टी वेन प्राइज इज मोर देन द एक्सपेक्टेड प्राइस जब आप प्राइस का लेवल एक्सपेक्टेशन से ज्यादा रखते हो इकोनॉमी में जितना लोगों ने एक्सपेक्ट किया उससे ज्यादा प्राइस है प्राइस इज मोर देन एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट इज मोर देन वाई एन वेन प्राइज इज लेस देन एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट इज लेस देन वाई एन एंड ये पॉइंट है जब प्राइस एग्जैक्टली एक्सपेक्टेशन के बराबर है तो आउटपुट वाई एन के बराबर है इट इज इक्वल टू वाई एन वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई एन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन एब्सोल्यूटली क्लियर हो गया ओके प्लीज राइट आउट गिवन expected price level and increase in output leads to increase in prices so beta if i am holding pe constant ye line kya bol rahi hai holding pe constant y and p they are directly related to each other so an increase in output leads to increase in the price level is this clear clear ho gaya okay please write down further if y is equal to y n that is output equals natural level of output then price level equals expected price level so when y is equal to y n p is equal to p e hmm? clear hua baat acha now second thing now i want to understand what is the role of Price expectation. But look at this one. This this diagram that I have shown. This is an AS curve. An AS curve is upward sloping. But at whatever points come on the x-axis or y-axis, those points tell you the movement around the curve. मतलब अगर P या Y change होगा If P or Y will change, then I will move along the curve. But any other factor, it should lead to shift of the curve. Any other factor will lead to shift of my curve. Clear? Hui baat? 